So I run my tower system as four bins, even though the bottom tray is for leachate, but I don't get leachate. And I actually, the worms go down there anyway. So I threw bedding down there, some leaves, a corn cob. And every time I do a feeding, I collect worms out of the bottom and I move them to the top floor. This means they're going into Itsy. There were a lot of worms in that lower level, which is reassuring because this is in my greenhouse and that lower level for sure has no heat from the seed blanket, which is on the top level. So let's just watch as this load of worms gets added into Itsy. And I will clean out this dish while you can watch the um, worms go down and you can see how many worms had made their way down to that bottom level uh, there it's like a playground down there there's sticks there's leaves there's egg cartons uh, there's corn on the cob um, there's a couple apples as slow food which they hadn't even gotten into yet and they've been down there probably three weeks and there's uh, uh, a cardboard um, and so, uh, so therefore there are castings and it is wetter than the other levels. You can tell by my muddyish hand that the castings were wetter down there, but you can see they, they are castings. They're beautiful castings, but a little bit too wet to sift. Uh, so what I do every week, I, I uh, feed the bins is I bring the, the worms that are in the lowest level back up to the top. Uh, I also saw a lot of springtails. Those white little flecks are both egg uh, powder and springtails. So spring is the time for springtails maybe. Again, living in a cold bin at the bottom of my worm tower, but maybe with the apples down there and whatnot, I don't know, maybe the pH was a little, uh, a little off, but you can see the number of worms here, just um, plentiful. I think that's disturbing them enough. Um, I'm gonna get their cardboard and and uh, blanket on them now. I actually want them to just hang around itsy for a while. I don't want them to go all the way back down to the bottom again. I know by the time I come out here in a week or two, I know I will find that many worms again down the bottom. But in the meantime, I'm gonna put my assorted cardboard buffers on the top here just to make sure that this bin doesn't suffer from dehydration or temperature extremes as much as I can. And then there's their coconut coir blanket that uh, it's been on this bin from the beginning a year ago. In fact, I think this bin is about exactly one year old. And what I do is I put this cardboard down so more insulation. And then the last thing I do is I have a seed heating mat that half goes on the worm tower right next to it and half goes on um, this worm tower. So not a lot of supplemental heat needed here on Vancouver Island for worms to survive the winter. I'm not willing to risk no supplemental heat at all but half will go on here and half will go on the can of worms when I'm done. Anyway, I thought I'd show you how many worms hang out at the, what, well, not quite the back of the bus, but certainly the bottom of the, uh, the bottom of the tower. Okay, thanks everyone, bye-bye.